you know, and, uh, I feel like though I'm, I'm pound for pound, and, uh, the women will just see what's going on. They seen what happened tonight. And, and you let it be known, you'll fight Ryan Garcia, Tia Fimo. What do you think of a, of a potential unification with Devin Haney? <clears throat> as, as of right now, we're going to enjoy it. Tank got a long training camp. Tank got a long training camp. Jake. And we want to, we really want to enjoy this victory. As soon as a fight is over, the first 10 seconds, who do you want to fight? Who do you want to fight? Tank is the top dog. Tank is on pay-per-view for a reason. Tank is where he's at for a reason. So we don't want to come up here and call different names. Oh, we want to fight him. We want to fight him. We want to fight him. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is let him go home and enjoy himself with his family, his daughter, his team, and then we'll talk about that probably, what, 20, 30 days from now. But he should be able to enjoy his victory. Why every time a fighter fight, the first, who you wanna fight next? Who you wanna fight next? He's putting himself, I'm putting, I put him in a position so he can do the same thing that I did. Fight when he wanna fight, and fight who he wanna fight. He's the top dog and He's going to keep going out there, proving to the world that he is the best. And I'm so proud of him. Like I said before, I'm so, so proud of him. No matter what, you know, when things are said, uh, when you hear certain things in the media about me and Tank, no matter what you hear, I'm, I'm going to always love him unconditional. Same way I love my, two, my other two sons and my two daughters, I love him the same way. I only want the best for him. And we, I'm, I'm, I'm probably happier, happier than he is. I'm super, I'm proud of him. So proud of him. And I didn't, I didn't come on to the other side as far as to become a promoter to, to not, to, to not share what I had apart, you know, that what I lived before. I'm glad that it's, that it's him. I'm glad that it's him now. He deserved it. You know, like I said before, and I'm not going to stop saying I'm, I'm so happy for him. Uh, Tank, um, I felt you showed a lot in this fight, like how uh, versatile uh, you really are. I, I know, um, Coach Calvin, you had mentioned that there hasn't been an opponent that's really brought the boxing uh, out of Tank. Did you feel that Leo brought some of those things that you guys hinted about earlier in the week? And if Tank, if you want to chime in on that also? Well, when we were boxing, um all excess. I thought he was going to box more and actually go back to his old way of fighting. And that's what makes Leo a great champion because he's always going to fight. You get what I'm saying? And, um, he did some things to Tank that I didn't like, you know, and Tank was in the corner. Once we got ourselves calmed down in the situation, he started saying things, you know. Um, that uppercut shot, we've been working on that for a while. You get what I'm saying? Um, if you look at the playback, you'll hear when I tell him to shoot the uppercut to the ceiling. He threw it just right. He was open for it a long time ago, but he just kept blocking like Tank say, so he had to switch up the shots and everything. But Leo was pushing the issue, you know, coming to him, you know, which cause was that we noticed that when Tank was coming out, he was hitting him in the body a lot. He was hitting him in the body a lot. He was hitting him in the body a lot. That's why Tank I actually got that gas. He took he took chances, you know. And when the right time was yeah, hit his with the elbow. But at the end of the day he closed the show, closed the show. And Tank, if you want to expand on that, did you feel that you showed more than what people thought uh, of you before as just a power puncher? Do you feel that you showed that you could box, that you have defense, that you can move and all that? Yeah, but I think I ain't, I ain't really show that that much of it as far as what I have on uh, my tools. But um, I'm just glad I got the, the, the victory and, you know, Leo um, safe and everybody can, you know, go home to their family. Okay, one more over here. Removing who from the equation, do you feel you're better suited to fight at 130 or 135, or can you fight at both? I can fight at both. I think so. Um, just, you know, just the uh, best I'm opportunity. I'm in the best I took, uh, I t opportunity. Yeah, I'm definitely champion at both. I'm champion at both, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take some questions from Zoom. We're going to start with uh, Stephen Hayes. Stephen, if you unmute, you can go ahead. Hey, thank you. Congratulations on the victory. Uh, were you surprised that he took your power so early on? I I didn't really catch him clean. I didn't re really catch him clean. I ain't throw nothing that 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 hard be, uh, in the beginning of the rounds. And when you saw that uppercut, when you saw the opening for that uppercut, 
Were you? Did you know it was over then? No, I actually didn't know. But as soon as I hit him, it was like he went all the way back. So I'm like, damn. Appreciate you, man. Congratulations again. Yeah. All right, thanks, Stephen. Let's hear from uh, Cameron Buford. Cameron, go ahead. Hey, Tank. Congratulations on a big win. Thank you. How early? How early in this fight did you recognize that you had the uh, speed and power advantage? Uh. I knew that coming into the fight, but um, it was times that, you know, he, 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 he caught me a, a couple times, so it's really like speed didn't matter, you know, it was just the right time, you know, so it was basically uh, basically me, uh, you know, get my time and right, get, get my foot wet, and uh, just, you know, uh, you know, once you first go in there, you get anxious, but once you go, uh, you know, um, a few rounds, then you, you settle down. That um, that upper that uppercut that, that that left you you were sitting on that you were waiting on that from early in the, early in the fight was that the plan going into a fight? You, um, Calvin talked about you guys who had worked on that, but was that the plan to to to, re, to combat his to counterpunch his, his style his punches style his flurry of punches that he was gonna come with? Uh, we definitely worked on it in the gym, but uh. I think that wasn't the main. We were just working on, you know, just um, just being able to, you know, uh, uh, stand his, you know, his output and things like that. And we definitely worked on the uppercut too, but it was just mainly uh, he was just coming in with, 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 with you know, his 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 uh, arms was longer, he was taller, and he was coming in with, you know, his head. You know, we knew um, coming into the fight, that's how he fight. <laughs> What would you rank this in your performance? Or is this your best best fight yet? What would you rank this? Uh, I won't say best fight yet, but uh, I I can't really rank it right now. Well, I got the knockout, so uh, eight, but <laughs> I'll, I'll watch over it. Okay. Congratulations again, Chief. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Cameron. Now let's hear from uh, Carlos Toro. Carlos, if you unmute, you can go ahead. Congratulations, Dravante, uh, on the win. Do you physically feel better fighting at 130 pounds right now than you did when you were fighting at 130 pounds a couple of years ago? Uh, I think that I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I think I, I feel strong at 130. I think that's my natural weight. Uh, it just up to me to you know, stay in the gym and you know, stay fit. You know, I'll be a, a full-time you know, athlete instead of just you know, part-time. So. Uh, it, I definitely feel good at 130, but you know, if the uh, if the uh, if the good opportunity at 135, I'm champion at 135, so we can make it happen at 135. And quick question to Floyd: Obviously, now with Dravante having succeeded and passed his first main event with flying colors, do you foresee that all of Dravante Davis's fights are going to be pay per view? Um. What we have to do is just, uh, we'll talk about it. I talk about it Monday with my team. I communicate with Al, communicate with Leonard, and uh, my PBC team, my Mayweather Promotions team. We'll sit down and talk and, and talk with Showtime, Steven Espinosa, and see what we come up with. You know, we don't know what the future holds, but we do know this is uh, a future star. Big star, Thanks, I should say. Floyd. Okay. Thanks, Floyd, and congratulations to Javante on the Thank victory. You. Thanks, Carlos. Uh, we just got information that uh, Leo Santa Cruz will be with us. He was taken to the hospital for precautionary reasons. He was conscious, uh, nothing emergency, but he was taken for uh, some observation. Uh, announced attendance tonight in the Alamo Dome was 9,024. 9,024. Announced attendance. We'll go to our next question from Jeremy Herridges. Jeremy with fansided.com. Uh, Gervonta. Congratulations on an excellent performance. I know that uh, Floyd gave you a lot of advice about your first pay-per-view. I'm, I'm curious, how did the reality of this moment, this event, live up to the expectation? What were you feeling in this, in this momentous event? Um, just, you know, leading up to it, you know, um, just, I was uh, I'm appreciative, you know, uh, I'm happy to be in this position, you know, but um, actually when I came to the fight, it was like, when I got here to the way, I mean the, uh, the, you know, the hotel was like me fighting in the nationals, you know. So I, I was kind of used to it. I was, um, 
I was cool, you know, and, and, and Floyd always told me, like, let's treat this like a regular day in the gym, and that's, that's what I was going by, you know, just, you know, uh, just regular gym work. You know, if I could have drove my own car, like, I would have drove my own car here, you know, so I could actually feel like I'm going to the gym. So I think that's 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 what make me, um, you know, uh, be calm to come into the fight. Like, it's just regular gym work, uh, gym work and, you know, let it play out. That left hook that you landed, that left uppercut, was a monster shot. You did that at 130. Do you feel a significant strength benefit when you fight at 135? I feel strong at both. And I feel strong at 135 and 130. And it's, it's, it's you know, it's actually what punch I hit you with. You know, it's not just the uppercut. I knock Pedraza out with a, uh, a hook. I knock Campbell out with an uppercut. And, you know, just whatever punch I land. That's uh, how you yeah, how I'm um, feeling. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's paying off and it, it looked excellent. Congratulations again. Thank you. All right, we'll take the next question from Richard DeAsio. Richard, you on mute. Go ahead. Yes, thank you. Uh, congratulations on the uh, the impressive victory and spectacular knockout. I have a question for uh, both uh, Davis and uh, Floyd. Tank, we'll start with you. Uh, you said you were going to take maybe about a week off, jump back into the gym. Uh, um, what is what does the end of the year and going into 2021 look like uh, for you? So, from your perspective, how how would you uh, map out 2021? Uh, for me, uh, as of right now, me just get back in the gym, stand stand in shape, make sure I'm running. As far as uh, fights. I can't really say right now. You know, it's 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 up to my team. I, I think I have one of the best. I do have one of the best teams in boxing. You know, so I let them deal with you know outside the ring stuff, and I just go back to the draw boy and train harder. You know, then I train for this fight. You know, and I do my part and let them do their part. Yeah, and uh, from a promoter's perspective, you know, you're you're fighting for the title, but you know. Um, certainly, th this going into the year, we didn't expect that this was going to have such an impact on the sports industry. Uh, from our promoter's perspective, how, how sustainable uh, can the, the sport of boxing be, um, really thrive um, in the midst of a pandemic? I really, I really believe that we'll be okay. You know, certain things happen in life. Uh, you take the good with the good, you take the bad with the bad. The only thing we can do is keep our fingers crossed pray each and every day that we can get through this. But we still want to go out there and entertain the people. People still want to be entertained. So I'm just, I'm very, very, <clears throat> I'm very, very patient. Uh, my team is very patient and we'll get through this. Um, but as far as 2021 with Tank, um, we, look, we know we're going to fight twice for sure in 2021. And if we keep our fingers crossed, it's three times. So we want to make sure for twice for sure, but hopefully three times in 2021. And, um, you know, like I said before, we can't do nothing about this pandemic. Uh, this coronavirus is crazy, but uh, we just keep our fingers crossed, take our time and live each day one at a time. We take each day as it comes. All right, we have time for just one more. Let's go to Cameron Wolf. Cameron, you can go ahead. Um, there's sort of this new generation of young boxers, it seems like. Uh, T.O. had a couple weeks ago, not for you. Uh, it seems like y'all are trying to earn this new, uh, earn a new audience, so to speak. Where do you think you stack up, and what is what do you want the, the new era of boxing to be known for? Uh, I can't really say, you know, it's, it's it, that's not up to me. No, if it was up to me, you know, I want to just say it up to me. You know, it's, it's me to, you know, for me to do my part, you know, uh, forget, you know, that's what that's what's wrong with, you know, other, uh, other people. They worry about what, what other people have on that plate. You know, me, I'm focused on me and my team. My team, uh, one of the best, like I said, I, I think I'm the best out there. And we just work hand in hand, and, and that's why we came to, you know, 24 and 0, and we're going to continue to, uh, go that path and, uh, and just uh, the sky's the limit for us.
That's great. All right, congratulations. Uh, Ashley, can I, that's it for questions. Can I just ask you to kill the audio from the mics? I'd like to do some pictures with the belts and your team, if we could, to wrap it up? You can leave the picture up, Ashley, if you would, just the audio from the Zoom so we don't get any feedback. And then uh, Scott, you want to let the guys know you? Yeah. Tank with the belts? Yeah, tank with the belts, yeah. yeah. With, with the Please. team, and then one solo? Please. Uh, do we move the table, Scott? It would, it would be nicer if it's, okay. it's possible. Uh, I think it is. Why not? Let me take the Slide the chair though. Slide slide it over. Nice guys. Yeah. Right here, fellas. Yeah. That's it. Looks great. Finishing. Down here. Down here. Thank you, guys. Just get the two champs. Floyd, tank. I'm forward, champ. Kind of like you're going to look at Rose champion. That's right. Good, guys. Way to go. And how about tank? U UK is next. Solo, solo shot. Solo shot. Okay. What's up, Kishi? Hey, how are you? Right here. Right here. Thank you. Thank you.